Section four of the Topaz Storybook. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nan Dodge. The Topaz Storybook Stories and Legends of Autumn, Halloween, and Thanksgiving. Compiled by Ada M. and Eleanor L. Skinner. The Scarf of the Lady a french harvest legend translated by hermione de Nagy. the field of the lady was the name which the peasants gave to a large tract of land belonging to a rich estate the lord of the castle had given these fertile acres to his daughter and had told her to do as she pleased with the grain which the field produced each year at harvest time she invited the poor peasants of the neighborhood to come and glean in her field and take home with them as much grain as they needed for winter use sometimes when the gleaners were busily at work one of them would cry out joyfully ah there comes the lady of the castle they could see her coming in the distance for she always wore a simple dress of white wool and over her head was thrown a scarf of white silk striped with many colors she loved to come into the field while the people were at work and speak words of encouragement and cheer to them one sultry afternoon there were many peasants gleaning in the field the lady of the castle had been with them for several hours suddenly she looked up into the threatening sky and said my friends see what large clouds are gathering i'm afraid we shall have a storm before long let us stop gleaning for today and seek shelter the peasants hastened away, and the lady started toward the castle. As she drew near the green hedge which bordered the field, she saw coming toward her a beautiful young woman and a fair child whose hand she held. The little boy's golden hair fell in waves over his white tunic. "'You came to glean,' said the lady of the castle, in her sweet voice, full of welcome. "'Come, then. We'll work together for a little while before the rain falls.' thank you said the young woman the three began to pick up the ripe ears and pile them in small heaps they had worked but a little while however when a gust of wind swept over the field and great raindrops began to fall the thunder rumbled in the distance and streaks of lightning rent the sky come my friend said the lady of the castle we must seek shelter see there near the wood is a great oak thick with foliage let us hasten to it and stand there until the storm is over in a short time they reached the tree and stood together under the shelter of its great branches with his chubby hand the child took hold of the end of his mother's veil and tried to cover his curly head with it you shall have my scarf said the lady of the castle smiling she slipped it off wrapped it tenderly around the dear child's head and shoulders and kissed his fair young brow suddenly the great cloud seemed to roll away the lady of the castle stepped out from the shelter of the tree to look at the sky the storm had ceased and the birds were beginning to twitter in the trees she stood still looking at the wonderful golden light which flooded the harvest field and in the calm silence there came floating through the air the sweetest music she had ever heard at first it seemed far far away then it came nearer and nearer until the air was filled with harmonious voices chanting tenderly in the purest angelic tones she turned toward her companions and lo they had disappeared in the distance there was a sound like the light fluttering of wings the lady of the castle looked toward the hedge where she had first seen her mysterious companions there she saw them again, the lovely woman and the golden-haired child. They were rising softly, softly upon fleecy clouds. Around them, and mounting with them, was a band of angels, chanting a joyful hosanna. The marvelous vision rose slowly into the clear blue of the heavens. Then, on the wet ears of grain in the harvest field, the lady of the castle knelt in silent adoration for she knew she had seen the virgin and the holy child while she worshipped in breathless silence the heavenly choir halted 
and in clear ringing tones the angels sang out blessed be thou blessed be the good lady who is ever ready to help the poor and unfortunate blessed be this field of alms the virgin stretched forth her hands to bless the lady and the harvest field at the same time the holy child took from his head and shoulders the silk scarf which the lady of the castle had wrapped about him and gave it to two rosy winged cherubim away they flew one to the right the other to the left each holding an end of the scarf which stretched as they flew into a marvellous rainbow arch across the blue vault of the sky the virgin and the holy child followed by the angelic choir rose slowly slowly into the sky softly and gently as wood breezes the heavenly music died away and the vision disappeared the lady of the castle rose to her feet a marvellous thing had happened the small heaps of grain gathered by the gleaners had changed into a harvest richer than the field had ever produced before over all in the sky still shone the lovely rainbow arch the arch of promise across the field of alms end of section four recording by nan dodge